Hey guys, that's the Cuber, and in today's video, I'm gonna compare if you get better times in a big cube or a small cube. So today's just going to be a video where I test if you get better times on this bigger 3x3 or the smaller 3x3. So uh, before I start off, I'm going to do a brief review on these. Uh, this is a Shang Shao Big Legend. Uh, I forgot how big it was, but if you want to see it next to a normal 3x3, that's what it looks like. So yeah, it's pretty big. Uh, I'm turning. Oops, okay. Uh, the mini ball, 4.5, no, 4.74 centimeters. Uh, turns great. And yeah, it's a really good cube. So, I guess I'll just get to scrambling the big legend. Okay, so I scramble the big legend, and I'm gonna start my inspection time. Okay, so, um, I finished my solve and I got 27.77, so, uh, I'm sorry if you didn't, if you couldn't see the cube in the frame sometimes, because that's how big it was. Um, it was a bit hard to control, because it was so big and my hands were pretty small. Also, it was locking up a lot, so, I got 27.77, and I'll get to the scrambling the mini block. Okay, so I scrambled the mini block, and I'm going to get to inspecting it. Alright, so I finished solving my mini lock, and the time that I got was a 25.38. So I got about 2 seconds less than the Shang Shao Legend, the big legend. So what I learned today was that you can get better times choosing a smaller cube than a bigger cube. So thank you for watching my second episode of my Cube Lab series. I'll appreciate it if you drop a like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.